Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. If you like my channel, please press the subscribe button. So, I just checked the weather for this week and it says that our temperature some nights are going to be 3 degrees, some nights are going to be 0 and one night is going to be minus 1. Now, this this usually happens in September where occasionally you'll get those nights that are really low but then it will warm up eventually but once it goes to that temperature you have to harvest the plants that will be damaged by frost or the t if the temperature is too cold so now I'm in the process of harvesting my tomatoes and peppers because they don't like the cold and I don't want the frost to occur and damage them so I'm harvesting all that I can So, you may notice that I have two baskets here with me. So, in one of the baskets, I am putting the green tomatoes. And in the other basket, I'm putting those that are ripe. So, these are my beefsteak and my San Mar the mini San Marzano that I am harvesting from this location here. And then after harvesting... All that can be harvested from it I am rooting up the plants and I'm going to be taking those with small tomatoes on them and treating them so that the seeds won't germinate I wasn't expecting there to be this much San Marzano, the mini type, but it's quite a lot that is on these plants. And this plant that I'm harvesting now, I cannot believe how big it is, but it actually, when lying down in the bed, run a distance of up to six feet i cannot believe six feet on the ground this is the bushy type so it's not even the determinate variety that grows really tall but this bushy type is over six feet tall quite impressive i hate that it takes up so much space but i think i'm still going to grow it because it tastes really nice so i'm going to be saving seeds from these now here I have my beef steak that I'm going to be harvesting from this location as well. I'm starting with this raised bed because it is the one that has most of my peppers and tomatoes. So I want to make sure that I get them harvested as quickly as possible. Now look at this tomato. Can I see? Yeah, these two are quite large. Mm -hmm. 
So these are what was harvested from the raised bed, from that one raised bed. Now I'm going to be harvesting my peppers and some more tomatoes. So on this side I have sweet peppers, be sweet bell peppers, and I have long sweet peppers. I'm not going to be harvesting all of my long sweet peppers. Some of them I am going to, one of them, the plant that has the most fruit on it, I'm going to be up potting and overwintering. Yes, it is windy outside. And super windy too. Mm -hmm. that. These are my tomatoes that I'm growing in the challenge, compost versus castings. I'm going to be harvesting them tomorrow. So I just went inside to get my snips to cut up these plant residue and then guess what I see? I'm so excited. I open my door and there sitting in the doorway is a box with worms. African night crawlers that Russell Blitz sent me. So I'm quite excited. I'm going to cut these things up as quickly as I possibly can. So that I can go and play with those worms. It's the first I'm going to be seeing them in person. And I can't wait to get them all started. This is actually rather exciting. So I'm just going to try and rush through this as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so exciting raising those worms. So thank you, Russell. I definitely appreciate your kindness. So check this out. This is my harvest. I'm quite pleased with all the pest and everything that I had to deal with in the garden this year. I really wasn't expecting such a nice harvest. And I've been harvesting for quite a long time. Now look at this bad boy. My long sweet pepper. It look as if it is ready to ripen. I'm going to be collecting the seeds from it to plant next year. Look at these beefsteak tomatoes, looking quite good. Oh, look at this. And then these are my San Marzano. I'm going to be saving seeds from these as well. In this container under the bottom, I have the ripe tomatoes because I really did not expect to have such a large harvest of tomatoes. So I thought the ripe would hold in one container and the green would hold in another. So unfortunately the ripe ones are being crushed. So I'm going to be separating these in terms of ripe from the ones that are partially ripe to the ones that are green. That way as they ripen, I can prepare them and put them in storage until I'm ready to use them. It's going to take a while for them to ripen because I've always ended up with situations like these. So if you like my video and you'd like to see more, please subscribe.